So I've been a single mom for eight years. Are there any single moms out there tonight? Make some noise. What's up? You guys want to go out later? You want to hit Walmart? What's up? No. No, we are not hitting Walmart to meet a man, okay? If I meet a man at Walmart, we cannot date because we cannot be both broke enough to be shopping at Walmart. Don't you hit on me at Walmart unless your Mercedes broke down and you buying a Coke, all right? We can't both be buying the clothes, all right? That can't be happening. I love Walmart. I'm, I, I, lo I, want, I go in there for nose spray and I come out with a pool. I don't know every time, right? Okay, but so I've been a single mom for eight years and I know the pandemic is hard, but I, I, I do have an announcement since I've seen you guys. I do, I have a man in my life for the last three years. Thank you. Yes, thank you. I didn't get to tell you about this, Pastor. Um, he's, he's a dentist and I love him and he loves me. It's like, it's been three years now and I see him every six months and it, he is just, he's... He's so romantic. He writes me postcards and he like says, come see me, you know, come see me. Like every, like we have a date. And then he's always leaning in to kiss me. Like every time he's like, we get really close, but we're waiting because we're Christian, you know? <laughs> and he always makes me cry because of the laughing gas and stuff. But it's really, <laughs> yes, that's so sad. That is so sad because... That's my love life right there. <laughs> I don't have a man, but I do have Netflix and a heating pad. So it's kind of, some of you get that. And then some of you single women are like, that's sad, but it's not really. It's really because I have Netflix and Hulu. So I feel very contented. I mean, can I be real? I really don't. I, I don't, I don't date because I don't want to take a shower and, you know, I don't want to go online and lie. I don't want to go online and be like, I like hiking and all that stuff you do to get married. That's what you do when you're dating. You lie, lie, lie till they marry you. And the men pretend that they like Bed Bath & Beyond on the weekends. And you pretend like you like football. And then you get married. That's what, that's what dating is, okay? It's just ridiculous. And I don't really want a man who wants to go hiking. I just want to know if you want to come over to my house. And do you also like to watch The Crown and Cobra Kai and eat ice cream while we watch Biggest Loser, okay? That's all I want to know. And do you have a 401k? And do you you snore okay that's it and I don't really care if you snore you can have your own room okay I know how that works I married the first time for love girls and I don't recommend marrying for love don't do it you marry for old money I'm telling you that's what you gotta somebody's got to tell the truth I'm I'm married for love. I married a comedian with no car, and now my kid's dental plan is chew on the other side, okay? So, and he's living at my house right now, y'all. That's a prayer request. I always watch it with my kids, but no, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy being single and dating and all that stuff, and I just don't want to have any part. I don't want to have any part of it, and I'm, I'm super content, and, you know, I, and I don't have to work out, and, but I, I've, been, I've been working. I'm trying to get my... Some of you don't know this. I think I, this hadn't happened. After, after I saw you guys in 2018, I got my dream job, and I started writing movies for the Hallmark Channel. Does anybody watch the Hallmark Channel? <laughs> So that was so fun, right? So I wrote two movies, and then they're like, oh, you got fired because of the pandemic. No, we got fired because Aunt Becky went to prison, okay? And so some of you know we got to have grace, okay? We had grace on Robert Downey Jr. We can have grace on Aunt Becky. We just, I mean, I would have grace on Robert Downey Jr. too. I mean, I would forgive him, and him and Channing Tatum and I can all get saved and go to heaven together, me and Iron Man and Magic Mike. Um, so... I mean, because you got to name it and claim it, really. But um, so I wrote two movies, and then we're trying to get our jobs back. And some of you are like, oh, Hallmark, it's so predictable. But we're trying to make a difference. My writing partner is a Christian. We're trying to write different movies. Do you want to hear about my last movie? It's not out yet. I can't tell you the whole plot, okay? I'll tell you a little bit. It's not like all the other movies. It's about this big town lawyer girl, okay? And she can't be a lawyer anymore because the bed and breakfast that her grandma owns caught on fire in Montana. So she has to go home to Montana and then she runs into her lumberjack boyfriend, okay? It, it's not Joey Lawrence, you guys. It's more diverse. It's Mario Lopez now, okay? So we're trying to... You guys, it's not like the other movies. It's not. I can only tell you she's a princess. That's all I'm going to tell you, guys. And there's a puppy, but that's it. That's not going to tell you. 
But so there's been a little. You want some inside gossip on the on the Hollywood? So somebody somebody knows Hallmark's like taking some twisty turns and some of their a little bit. Anybody, right? A little bit. So. And some of their audience is like, we don't like the way that they're going. And there's a, they have a lot of Christian audience. So we hadn't worked in like a year and a half. And I was praying. I was like, Lord, I, I continue. I want to work in Hollywood. I want to continue making, you know, movies. And so the executive producer of Hallmark Channel called us. And they said, Carrie, we want you to write and pitch three Christian movies. The Hallmark Channel wants to produce Christian movies. Yeah. Right? So we pitched a movie about this big town pastor, how she had to go home and her church caught on fire. And uh, she's a princess in the Lord. And so, but so, okay, something happened today that nobody knows about. That's kind of, so there, so Hallmark's doing their Hallmark thing. And then now there's a new network called GAC. And you guys got to know about GAC because that's Great American Country Network. And they want to do family friendly movies. Not, and the president of Hallmark left. And the president is a Christian, okay, over at GAC Network. And then they got all the big Hallmark stars. They got Candace Cameron, okay? They got like Beyonce to leave Hallmark and go over to the GAC. So they're all over at GAC. So then we went over to GAC and we just signed a contract today to make a movie with Jesse Metcalf. Do you guys know who Jesse Metcalf is? Because you watched that Christian TV show that he was on, Desperate Housewives. And so <laughs> he was the pool boy, but he's he's down with Jesus now. So we just signed that today. Nobody knows. So that's it's called Restoration. Thank you. Now pray that they pray that they make it because it's kind of like Survivor over there. But like so it's called Restoration Summer. And it's about this big town lawyer and she has to come home and renovate the house because it caught on fire. But anyways, it's fine. It's, it's sci-fi, you guys. It's totally different. <laughs> but what's been going on? Since the last time I saw you, a lot's been going on. Um, I've been working, and I came out with a brand new DVD. This just came out a few uh, months ago. It's called Kicking It Old School. This is my new comedy DVD. And you in the rainbow dress, I love you. I want you to have that because you laugh at all my dysfunction. And I just, there's always one. There's always one in every crowd. <laughs> You're as messed up as me, and I, and that takes a lot of faith to sit in the front row when you're, you need it so bad. I get it, you know. <laughs> These are my super Christians. They're all like perky, and their hair's all, and all my heathens in the back are like, if she's not funny, we'll go out and see Magic Mike. It's okay. Okay, you guys, one time I was in Texas, and I was at this big old church. I call it Six Flags Over Jesus, and I've told you guys this story before, probably. But so, you know how when you're in the front row, you got to have it going on, right? Your hair has got to go, like, they're looking at you from the back. You can't adjust when you're in the front row, right? So, I'm in the front row, and I'm worshiping, and everything's good. But have you ever been worshiping, and this is just for us girls, and your undergarments have reached a place that have hindered your worship? Has that ever happened to you? You know what I'm talking about? trying to stay Christian, trying to stay appropriate, but the underwear has hindered your worship. And you only have one song to work it out. You know what I'm saying? And you better hope it's a church like this. You better hope it's charismatic because you're like, there's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. 